just appreciate the fact that we've all come to the end. Like, I'm so, so proud of everyone. I mean, I have a glass of Prosecco just, like, dressed up in my dining room. Like, am I even going to be in Studio 33 ever again? No, probably not. And you're, you're there. Like, you're, you've come out the other side. And you just don't think that's ever going to happen because it's just so hard. Hi, angels. It's been a while, actually. Even though we're in lockdown, I seem to be having quite a lot to do. <laughs> Definitely my fault, um, because I'm like, okay, I want to do this and this and this. And everything seems to be a priority, so yeah, I've just not really had too much time to be doing any more videos at the minute. Sorry, my voice is also being very dodgy today. I don't know whether it's from singing yesterday or, I don't know, it's just a bit croaky. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> So I've not really had too much time to be thinking about YouTube videos and I do want to be doing much more fun ones, you know, some more challenges. And I am going to start like a story time situation because I've got quite a few stories and I think they'll be funny. Um, but this one's just a really chill chatty one. Um, I don't really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but last night I was just like thinking and I was like, it would be quite good to document what's going on right now. Also, I'm trying to keep my bun like out of sight because yesterday um I ordered a chopstick wand so I just tried it yesterday when it came I slept in a bun but with the chopstick curls and it's just an absolute mess this morning <laughs> and I don't want to brush it out because it'll just go really frizzy so I've put it in a bun but it's mental and I've also just put a scrunchie on top <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just like let's just ignore that the eyebrows are actually like doing their own thing at the minute <laughs> but yeah so Sorry about that, I always look a mess at the minute, but we're gonna roll with it. And I also have a really weird face, but that's just, that's just me. <laughs> um, okay, so the reason I was gonna come on here is it's a crazy time, an absolute crazy time, but I didn't quite realise, like, at the minute, the struggle for grads, and obviously I'm going to be talking about bird college and, like, drama school grads and stuff, but in general, anyone that's graduating right now, like, it's so rubbish, and, you know, shout out to everyone that's graduating at the minute, or meant to be graduating at the minute, or in that same situation, because it's so weird, it's so weird, and I can't, I can't get my head around it at all, and I was sort of saying, like, to, pe to people yesterday, like, I'm so into denial of the fact that it's my last week at bird college i'm in denial <laughs> like some people are so upset about it and some people are like already in their head like we left ages ago it's fine and i'm sort of in the middle like yeah i was so ready to leave and i was just like i'm so ready for the next chapter and i still am but because everything's on pause at the minute i'm actually like okay what's going on and then people are really sad about it and i was kind of like i am sad but it's not hitting me and then yesterday it hit me for the first time and i was like wow like this is quite a big thing for us like we're meant to be all like celebrating our achievements and our success and it's all just sort of stopped and obviously that can't be helped like this is not what this video is about it's not complaining about it it's just discussing that like we made it this far and then it's just suddenly like okay bye like see you later and it's it's just so weird to get your head around and yesterday we had a lesson and it was just like a chatty one with that agency and everyone was just talking about how they're feeling about it and then um one one person was just like oh yeah like we didn't get to do our you know run around the college on our last day and do the conga and stuff and you just forget you're like oh my god that is like a thing that everyone does every year and like we would have had our show and like it's just bizarre like we're not gonna have that final goodbye and like you can't even properly say goodbye to your teachers and it's just so strange like it it's so strange and it is actually hitting me this week I've got two lessons left and we're having this like grad event thing on Zoom on Friday because that would be our actual graduation. But we were like, we're not having graduation on Zoom. Like it's too special. So we are going to have an official graduation probably next year, which is amazing. Like I can't wait for that for us all to be together and actually celebrate properly. But at the minute it's so weird. But we're having this like event thing on Friday, which I think is going to actually be quite emotional. I don't know. But usually things don't affect me till after. So I wasn't expecting to feel sad this week, like to the extent, like obviously I'll feel sad, but I didn't think I'd be like, oh my my god and it has actually hit me and I was like well, this is really weird because I usually be like next week I'd be like oh my god when I've got no classes but seeing everyone on zoom yesterday made me realize like wow this is a big thing and I think it's such a big thing for um drama school 
students <laughs> um because the journey is so real like I can't explain the roller coaster it's been and you know some people have done foundation year I did a foundation year as well so I've been there four years and going back from like who I was when I first went I'm a completely different person like completely and the fact that some teachers have literally been on your journey with you like the whole four years they've seen you from like your first day and seen you make it to the end like it's actually mental and it's not just like a uni where you have lecturers like they literally see you at your most vulnerable your worst like your actual worst your when you're dragging yourself into those studios at whatever time when you've had 12 hour days and you're literally like starving or barely slept you know they see you at your worst they see you at your best they see you when you're thriving they see your progress they they see you struggle like they literally go through the journey with you and you forget that and you're just like oh you know they're literally like beating you up like you need to be better better you need to be better but like they do that in the interest like in the best interest and they see the outcome of that and it is so weird because you do actually have really close relationships with the teachers even though you don't think you do and like the ones necessarily you don't think you get on with but they have been on that journey with you and it's actually just like mental like it's, it's so weird the relationship and my throat is not okay <laughs> um like there is actually that relationship going on throughout the college and I think because it is so tough like people don't know how how tough it is unless you've been through it um even like some friends at home that I've like explained like my days or you know <laughs> what a typical day is or you know something that's going on and they're like how are you doing that and it's just like okay this is actually really hard and people don't realize how hard like doing this kind of training is and I will do probably another like video chatty thing about literally college because some people literally just think you just do some turns and like sing a little song and then it's all happy days but like it is is so hard so hard and everyone has had their own journey but everyone has had the really really ups and really really downs so to finish college without even like sort of feeling like you've achieved it do you know what I mean I mean like I remember being foundation like little like we were all so young technically and like just no idea what this college was about I remember being in foundation and just thinking like looking at first year it's like oh I'm not gonna be able to do that I'm not gonna be able to finish at 6 45 every day with no breaks I'm not gonna be able to do rehearsals 6.45 is actually early now do you know what I mean and I was just like how are we gonna do that and then you're in first year and then you're like I can't do second year like that's ridiculous second year is like long days and you're just like no I'm never gonna get there and then you're in second year and you see the third year is doing the musicals and stuff and you're like no I'm not I can't imagine doing that like that's never gonna be me and then you're in third year and you've done all this stuff and all these like auditions and you and then you're just like oh okay we've made it like we've all made it but it doesn't feel like we have because we've just sort of been like okay we're done which obviously is not our fault and it's no one's fault but it's so weird it's so weird I can't I can't even explain how weird it is but to think you've actually made it through the whole time and you've come out the other end all of that blood sweat and tears literally literally and you're you're there like you're you've come out the other side and you just don't think that's ever gonna happen because it's just so hard and also last night I was thinking like the absolute amazing memories literally amazing memories and it's like we're never we're never gonna have that type of student vibe as in like I don't want to say student vibe because everyone thinks that we're like partying all the time we literally don't <laughs> we literally don't but <laughs> if you're like really struggling in a class you just look at your friend you just give them a look and they just kn like you just know what's going on like you can just give support to people just from your look and help people and you're just never going to get that again you know seeing someone like you're doing a ballet bar and you look at your friend on the other side of the room like it's just little things that people are like that's just stupid but like there's so many memories and so many funny things that is that just it just feels like they've just not gone but like just finished and you're just like oh okay and like so lucky we managed to finish all our assessments and everything before lockdown just they literally shoved our dance assessments in two days um and then we like left but we didn't know that was our last day obviously no one knew but it wasn't even like a normal class because you were doing assessment so it's quite stressful you know you're focusing on you you're not even like thinking about anything else really you're just like I need to pick this up I need to do well and then you finish and you're just like oh okay we've done we'll have a few pictures maybe but like you're done you haven't even enjoyed like the last few weeks of studio time like fun classes because you've just been preparing for assessments and auditions which is amazing because that's what our career is but in terms of like studio time with your best friends and like some amazing teachers that have been there along way like it's just stopped and we haven't been able to cherish the fact that those are going to be our last lessons like I've still got stuff in my locker and I'm like right I need to go get that at some point but like am I even going to be in studio 33 ever again no probably not
it's like oh the tap studio I'm not on the new building the singing rooms I'm never gonna be in them again and it's just like you didn't like the last time you were in them you just weren't thinking like oh you know this is where we've all grown for the past three four years we've just sort of left it and it's like what like you just feel like you haven't said goodbye and you haven't said goodbye to your friends i remember walking out of college with lizzie and emily after our jazz assessment so we like all just left and we were just like hugging each other like oh back when you could hug <laughs> hugging each other like bye like i'm not sure when we're going to see each other again but we didn't realize it was going to be like this but you're just like we said bye but like that was two of my friends like i didn't say bye to anyone else like properly and then like even teachers the physio was walking out with us and was just like oh bye guys wish you the best of luck like hopefully see you at a graduation at some point and then we were like what what? Like the teachers are saying bye to us and we're just like, what is going on? I don't know whether this is just so, this is probably super rambly and I'm just like saying stuff that people can't relate to or whatever, but I just feel like I need to just, need to just chat it out because I just know that everyone, everyone that's in my year or everyone at college actually, but everyone that's graduating, but at the minute or any other of the drama schools, you know, <laughs> it's been bloody tough. Yeah, it's just mad that we're done on Friday. I have two lessons left. I literally have a ballet class left and tap class left and that's it obviously we're going to be carrying on this for the rest of our lives but like <laughs> with these teachers you know we're technically still being handheld throughout our training like from now well from friday we're on our own we have to sort our own classes out that's how it is like so we need to cherish this these last i was gonna say these last few weeks but it's literally it's like two days it's just mental it's actually mental i don't really know why i made this video but it's just to mainly just chat about it i guess and just appreciate the fact that we've all come to the end like i'm so so proud of everyone so proud of everyone i'm actually proud of myself and i thought i'd ever say that but it's mental it's actually mental to get my head round big part of our lives it has been big part the growth the growth that's all I can say the growth is people and performers absolutely mental we've come so far so far and obviously it's so exciting going into the next chapter amazingly exciting but i think it's because this has just ended without goodbye or you know sense of achievement and i think we all need to remember like we've done so bloody well to get this far to make it out the other end yeah we may not have had agent showcase or agent day or our final showcase but we did our musicals you know we did dissertations we did our assessments we've done auditions we've started auditions and you know this is just a pause obviously in our careers but it's just mad it's just mad you just feel Feel like you're on your own like all of us are just like at home like okay like, i'm sure all of us on friday are just gonna have like i mean i have a glass of prosecco just like dressed up in my dining room like pants and everyone <laughs> just gonna be so weird so so weird but i think i don't know i just made this video to just like appreciate the fact that we've all managed to do it and how weird it is but we need to be proud we need to be proud of where we've you know we've actually finished and we're alive <laughs> we're healthy <laughs> um and yeah just it's just really bizarre really bizarre yeah and it does it does really hit home when you see your classmates just all being like we didn't get to say goodbye I didn't think it hit me this hard this week I was definitely expecting next week or in like a month because that's what happens but really hit me yesterday really really hit me yesterday it is what it is and nothing can be helped it's just bizarre <laughs> I keep saying it's so weird but it is and you know, I feel everyone's struggling, everyone's having their own issues and things to get over and I get that. But this was just, I just wanted to talk about graduating, especially going into an industry that's not even running at the minute. Don't know when it's going to get back up. So it's just very uncertain for everyone anyway. But I just wanted to appreciate the fact that we all did it and we all made it, even though we didn't think we would. And we've all had so many life lessons. We've all come through it and we should all be very proud that we've, that we've made it. <laughs> And we can say we're graduates. And yeah, I'm just really gonna remember everything. Every single memory I'm gonna write down, it's millions. Every single person I'm definitely gonna remember. Even if we weren't close, like I'm gonna remember everyone for a reason. And yeah, it's obviously not how we wanted it to end. And I'm, I'm sure we'll have an amazing graduation when it happens and a big event and a big celebration. And we can, ha we can have the final goodbyes that we need to. But at the minute, it's just like, okay, maybe we'll say bye for now. <laughs> yeah just I don't know I just wanted to chat about it a little bit so people understood maybe the life of bird <laughs> um or other graduates that are just watching like yeah I can relate to that so much I don't know whether I've actually said everything I mean I had a few notes but I don't know whether I've actually said everything I need to but I probably have bit of a weird one um yeah but it's just a chatty one <laughs> <laughs> with my earphones I haven't actually moved the thing yet so <laughs> progress from the last one 
yeah, I think that's all from me for this one. Um, sorry, it was another chatty one, probably really boring again. But yeah, I just felt like I needed to document that a little bit. For some reason, I did. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing okay and I hope everyone is staying safe still even though lockdown is easing at the minute. But yeah, that's the main thing. We're all healthy and we're all happy most of the time. <laughs> and yeah, I just, yeah, hope everyone's okay. I will definitely be doing more videos soon. Hopefully not just chatty ones, like these have all been chatty ones. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for listening and for watching this. Um, If you did watch to the end. <laughs> Um, yeah, thank you so much, and yes, I love you all, and stay safe, everyone. Bye!